production of Sela Broadcasting Network. Buenos dias, Sela family. I'm Mrs. Buchanan, and today is Tuesday, December 15th, 2020. Today is also Bill of Rights Day. The Bill of Rights are the key amendments to the U.S. Constitution that protect our individual rights, like the rights to freedom of speech and religion. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance for the flag of the United States of America and into republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our weather forecast today is a high of 47 with a low of 35. But it will be sunny, so sunny and chilly. Don't forget to sign up for CMS Eats at Home. Check out our Facebook page or Class Dojo for information. Or you can sign up at the web address shown on the screen. Be sure to come to Curbside Pickup this Wednesday. Instead of checking out books, I'm going to give you books as a gift, as a present that you can keep. Two books, maybe even three books. Who knows how many books you're going to get. It's going to be so exciting. A present from Sela. So be sure to come Wednesday between 10 and 1 to pick up your books. Also, I'll have the books that you have on hold too. So I saw that a lot of you put books on hold. So I'll go ahead and put those on hold and I'll send you up or I'll get them and check them out to you. Sorry. Check them out to you and I'll send you a message saying that they're here. So keep putting those books on hold and I will see you Wednesday to get your presents of books. Happy reading. Miss Hirsch, thank you so much for teaching us about Hanukkah. Wow. One night of oil lasted for eight nights? That was a miracle. And I love potato latkes. Yummy. I think I need to make some really soon. We made some potato pancakes the other day, but they weren't potato latkes. Need to make some potato latkes. And I definitely need to try a Sofangonia? Gonia? Is that how you say it? The jelly donut? haven't had one of those. I have a dreidel, but I never knew how to play. Now I just need to go get me some gout, and then I can play. <gasps> My family and I are going to play dreidel. That's going to be so much fun. All staff, we would love to learn about traditions in your home. Send your videos to Mr. Perez at the address shown on the screen or in your email. k Cecila is up next. I am Senora Pachon, and today I want to share with you one of our Colombian traditions for our holidays. I'm going to show you how to prepare buñuelos. These are the ingredients. First, measure 600 grams of flour called buñuelina. Then, add 2 pounds of cheese. Next, add three eggs. Then add one half cup of sugar, and one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking powder. Slowly add two cups of milk while you mix the dough with your hands. With the dough, make balls that weigh 20 grams, and set them aside on a plate. Now we go to the stove. Set a pot with a lot of oil and make sure it is at 350 degrees. Grab a buñuelo and dunk it in the oil. Slowly spin the buñuelo until it is golden brown. Once it's ready, set it aside to let it cool. Now our buñuelos are ready. Let's see how they came out. Mmm, they came out delicious. You can enjoy them with a cup of coffee or some natilla, which is another Colombian dessert. I can show you how to make it later this week. Parents, please stay connected to Class Dojo for important announcements and information. Dale and Melissa, thanks for teaching us about Honduras. The clothes, the beaches of Honduras, they're beautiful. In your outfit, it was muy bonita. Thank you for sharing with us. 
who would love to go to Honduras. Students, share your family traditions with us. This time of year is rich in traditions. Hanukkah, Christmas, Las Posadas, which I think maybe starts tomorrow. Las Posadas starts tomorrow, I think. Three Kings Day, New Year's. So many celebrations and traditions. Decorations, food, songs, music. What traditions do you have? Send your videos to Mr. Perez at the address shown on the screen. Now for a Cela Junior moment. This one, if you turn into a ball, it's still liquid. All right, so let's discuss our observations. What did you guys notice about the second substance, Daniela? It's mixed with purple and green. Okay, so you noticed the colors, purple and green. What did you yeah. notice, Victor? Um, that they feel like the same, but this one turns into a ball when you grab it. This one doesn't. Oh, so did anybody else make a comparison like Victor? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. So at the same time, it kind of feels like a solid and a liquid. Hmm. What do you think, Sarah Jana? That the purple one looks like purple dirt. <laughs> it looks like purple oh, dirt. <laughs> what was your observation thing? That it is very soft. Did anybody else observe that the second yeah. substance was very soft? Uh huh. It's sticky. It's sticky. Oh my god. Oh my god. It is. No, 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 no. It is. So go ahead and write down your observation of this substance. What kind of photos do elves take? Elfie. <laughs> What do snowmen like to do on the weekend? Just chill. <laughs> Where does Santa go when Christmas is over? To a ho 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 tail. <laughs> what the do you to get when ye what you? You cross I no ma'am man I vam per crossed bike Riddle 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 time riddle time riddle time yesterday's riddle what is that which never uses its teeth for eating purposes? Hmm, what is that which never uses its teeth for eating purposes? So, it has teeth, but it doesn't use them to eat with. Hmm, humans and animals have teeth, but we use them to eat with. So, it's not a human and it's not an animal. Hmm, what about, oh, when I comb my hair? A comb. A comb has teeth in it. It has teeth, but it doesn't eat. Although, I think sometimes a comb eats my hair, it pulls my hair out. But, it doesn't really eat. So, it's a comb. It has teeth and it doesn't eat. Good job, you guys who answered it. Alright, today's riddle. Name the only sport in which the ball is always in possession of the team on defense. And, the offensive team can score without touching the ball. Hmm. That's a little bit of a long one. Name the only sport in which the ball is always in possession of the team on defense. And the offensive team can score without touching the ball. I'm going to read that one more time because that was sort of choppy reading, wasn't it? Hmm. I need to be a little quicker with my reading. A little more fluent, right? Isn't that what we learned? To be fluent. Here I go. I'm going to be fluent with my riddle. Name the only sport in which the ball is always in possession of the team on defense. And the offensive team can score without touching the ball. Mm, that was a lot better. So the defensive team, no, yeah, the defensive team always has the ball. The offensive team scores but doesn't have to touch the ball to score. So what, what, what is it? What game is that? What sport is it? Oh, good luck guessing that one. I do. 
Adios. Arrivederci. Ciao. Sayonara. Shalom. Namaste. Goodbye.